Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. <sighs> so today I'm going to give you guys a few tips on how I maintain thick, healthy locks. So obviously the health of your locks comes from the roots, the roots are the source. If you don't take care of your roots, meaning your hair follicles, meaning what goes into your body, you're not going to see the results that you so if you guys are new here, welcome. If you don't know or you haven't seen any of my previous videos, go check those out after you watch this one so you can know what's going on, what I've done with my locks, all the things that I've gone through with my locks. This actually is not my first set of locks. I've had many of other sets before this. Honestly, even before I started making YouTube but that's just a short backstory. If you guys want to check out my old videos, you're more than welcome to do so. But yeah, let's get into the lock tips. So my first tip, and I kind of mentioned that in the previous clips, but make sure that you're putting healthy foods into your body. I'm not saying that you have to be like a health freak or anything like that and like go so hard, obviously. If you want to, hey, you know, it's only going to benefit you, do what you want to do. Personally, I I eat pretty healthy. I mean, it's not to say that I don't indulge. Obviously, it's some junk food here and there, but generally, I eat pretty healthy, and um, I would like to say I'm pretty health conscious. Granted, I've never really had issues in, as far as my hair growth, my hair thickness. As you guys can see, my roots are still pretty thick considering I interlock my hair. That's another misconception, huge misconception that people think that interlocking your hair somehow will just miraculously, or not even miraculously, if anything, the contrary. They think that over time interlocking will thin out your hair and that's not the case. Obviously you guys can see my roots have not thinned out at all. As you guys can see they're still very thick. Um, you don't really see my parts aside from this one and I actually define that, um, like I make sure that I kind of define that because I like to keep a side part and I do that on both sides. But I've never had issues personally with the thinning of interlocked locks and I've seen a lot of other women interlock their locks for years, i.e. look at, you know, people who have sister locks or micro locks. You can grow sister locks and micro locks really long without breakage solely from the interlocking, I should say. Obviously, locks can break for other reasons. Sister locks and micro locks, they're kind of different because obviously they're naturally much thinner, which means there is less hairs to keep the hair, you know, keep the lock, I mean, intact. And so, maybe those are easier to break i don't know i've never had micro locks so i can't speak on that i've only had thick locks i prefer that less to worry about hence why interlocking hasn't really thinned out my locks or anything like that but going back to the topic at hand keep your body healthy keeping your body healthy will essentially keep your hair follicles healthy <laughs> obviously which will in turn keep your hair thick unless you're genetically predisposed to just having thin hair. I get that. Not everybody naturally has dense, thick hair and that's okay. But your hair can be thin genetically, but not unhealthy to the point of breakage, you know? So yeah, make sure you're intaking healthy, nutrient-dense foods as much as possible. Again, I know we're human, we're gonna eat what we wanna eat, we're gonna eat what we, eat, what we feel tastes good, what we crave at the time, whatever. But overall, make sure you're getting in healthy, nutritionally dense foods. Second tip, exercise. I say that with a question mark because as of late, I haven't been exercising as much, but that hasn't been the overall theme throughout my life. I've been a student athlete and I think my body naturally, again, going back to the genetic thing, naturally I have a fairly fast metabolism, which I don't even know why I mentioned metabolism because that hasn't had anything to do with hair growth, but whatever. <laughs> back to the topic, but yeah, exercise. Just exercise. You're going to feel great. Your body's going to thank you. And your hair and everything else, your skin, your everything is just gonna thrive. In my experience, that's that's been the case. So I feel like it can only benefit 
everyone. Somebody's watching Netflix, not loud. I don't know if y'all heard that. <laughs> I live in an apartment, so. Anyway, my next tip, make sure you're cleansing your scalp. The scalp is the source of everything. So if you have a poorly maintained scalp, if you don't maintain the health of your scalp, you will have problems. Again, some people are genetically predisposed to have kind of easygoing, chill scalps. I understand that a lot of people don't and people have, um, you know, scalp psoriasis and atopic dermatitis and things like that and all kinds of skin conditions. Like my daughter, my two-year-old, um, well, this is not related to her scalp. Her scalp's fine, but you know, she has severe eczema. And that's okay. You just find ways to manage it as best you can. So with locks, it can be a little bit trickier with uh, scalp conditions because you don't have like direct access to your scalp, especially if you have thicker locks, I guess, and you interlock. I find that I have much less access to you know, like every square inch of my scalp, being that my locks are so thick, thick as in like the parts itself. I only have 57 locks, so imagine 57 groups of hair being compacted together and that's it. <laughs> so really the only time I have access to my full scalp is when I let my interlocking grow out to where I can kind of move around like my lock around freely without it being like so close to my scalp to where I can't really get in and under you know every part if that makes sense while I'm shampooing. Next tip to having and maintaining thick healthy roots to essentially have thick healthy locks is to not over manipulate. Don't over manipulate the roots. <laughs> Again, I know a lot of y'all are thinking, but you interlock them. <laughs> yes, however, I don't do what I used to do in terms of interlocking so close to the scalp. And to be honest, resectioning my locks to make them thicker was kind of a blessing in disguise. And I say that because being that my locks are in such big sections or bigger sections than they were, they're not like insanely big because obviously I know people have much you know thicker locks and bigger sections again I have 57 but I had way less I mean I had way more before and not just the previous set but any other set like I've never had this few locks and I love it but being that I only have those 57 parts it doesn't allow me to even interlock as tightly as I used to I just can't go that close to the root I mean I can go pretty close don't get me wrong but it's not to a point where I like how I used to do I would get headaches afterwards I would feel almost like my head is pounding kind of like after you get braids and I know a lot of y'all know how that feels I grew up on that so it's not like foreign, but it's not a good feeling. And obviously with locks, that's not like a given, you know, like you don't have to put yourself through that. It's not, it's not like braids, obviously. So, you know, with locks, there's no reason why your scalp should feel, as I said, like you just got some tight ass cornrows. Like there's no reason for that. I'll say it now, I've said it before, don't do what I've done. <laughs> Going back to, my point, I simply cannot and I don't interlock nearly as tight as I used to. That being said, I'm not putting as much tension on my roots. So whereas before I would do it, you know, in previous sets, I would do it, I'd say pretty tight. Like if I have a headache afterwards, that's, it's tight. <laughs> um, but now I don't do that anymore. And I think I've learned obviously the hard way of getting headaches and just feeling like, it's too tight, but then once it's done, it's done. You can't do anything about it. You can't really loosen it out. I would try to like kind of spray it with water and oil and kind of massage it just to kind of alleviate it a little bit, but that didn't always help. So don't over manipulate your roots. Don't over tighten your locks. If you do interlock, don't retwist too tightly and definitely don't do it too often. Retwisting can obviously thin out your locks as well if you're doing it way too often and too tight. What else? 
I think that's it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead because this video is getting too long for my liking and my camera might overheat, so let me just wrap this up. But yeah, if you guys have any other tips for growing and maintaining thick, healthy locks, leave them in the comments. If you guys have any questions, same thing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.